A giant poster quoting a Google dictionary definition of the word woman has been removed from a wall in Liverpool. The poster read, woman, women, noun, adult, human, female. But according to one LGBTQ activist, it qualified as hate speech and was deemed dangerous for transgender women. I'm joined now from Newcastle by Dr Adrian Harrop, who campaigned for the poster's removal. And in our central London studio, we can speak to Kelly J Keane Minshall, founder of the women's rights organisation Standing for women who were behind the poster. Hello to you uh, both. Uh, Dr. Adrian Harrop, to you first. What is so offensive about the dictionary definition of women? There is nothing inherently offensive with the dictionary definition of women. That really isn't what this was about at all. This is about what that particular poster presented in that particular way, in that particular location, represents and what the underlying meaning and the, the thinking that was driving putting up that poster. So, so, so that what, poster what, what was the underlying meaning then to anyone looking at it? Was it any more than a dictionary definition? So that poster was put up by a campaign group that is led by Miss Keen Minshew, um, who has led and spearheaded a campaign against trans people, particularly against trans women, that's extended over several months now, mostly online, but also in a real life environment, where she sought to demonise trans women and to highlight them as dangerous sexual predators. This poster that was put up is a symbol of that campaign. It is that campaign made flesh, as it were. And for transgender people who are living and working in Liverpool, it is a reminder to them that they are under such immense public scrutiny for every single aspect of their identity, their behaviour, their body shape, their appearance. And that campaign is led by this woman, Miss Keen Minshall, a.k.a. Posey Parker. And that's the reason why it should have been taken down. Let's get a response then uh, from Kelly J. Uh, Keen Minshall. This, this was part of a targeted transphobic campaign by you and your organisation. Well, firstly, I'd like to remind Mr Harrop that I'm married, so I'm Mrs Keen Minshall. And secondly... The point of this campaign was simply to highlight the absurdity that in 2018, saying woman equals adult human female is an offensive thing to say. And Mr Harrop delightfully has proven that point by having a tantrum and contacting every CEO or every executive on the board of Prime Site until it got removed. But this, it's uh, you... an absolute... This wasn't a one-off, though. This wasn't just a poster that you put up with the definition of woman on it. And, and, and we should say you're wearing that definition on the T-shirt that you're wearing uh, today, uh, Kelly J, uh, as well. What Mr Harrop is saying, that this was part of a long-running campaign by you and your organisation, and as such, it was offensive. How is the definition of woman offensive? Adrian what? Harrop. What a ludicrous thing to say. Adrian Harrop, your response. It really isn't about the definition itself, though, is it, Posey? It's not about that. It's about the fact that you have specifically you and Mrs. explicitly... Mrs Keane Minshall, Adrian Harrop. Mrs, Mrs Keane Minshall, I apologise, and it's Dr Harrop, thank you. Um, you have explicitly excluded trans women from your definition of Absolutely. women. Absolutely. Of that course I exclude trans women for the definition of woman. Adult, and human, not, female. Uh, that is not something that is appropriate. Would you like to explain to us all, as a doctor vanity. what a woman is, Mr. Harrop? A woman, Dr. Harrop, thank you, Mrs. Keen Minchell. Um, a woman is a person who identifies as a woman. Is a that person what you who do identifies when somebody comes a into A and E? You, you ask their identity before you treat them. Absolutely not, Mrs. Keen Minchell, and you are fully well, aware of that. That's not about identity, I... is it? I do not what you're identify. Seeking to do, what you and your misogynistic allies seek to do is erase what it means to be a woman in law and in life. And that is why this campaign has been absolutely essential. If you didn't push women to the point that we are very, very angry, that we feel we have to protect the language around us by using words like cervix havers, uh, menstruators, uh, cervical cancer, obliterating the word woman, not even using it in campaign material, we wouldn't feel the need to, to assert the fact 
that the meaning of woman is only the definition uh, is only adult human female. So well, I think the ball have? is in what very you much have? in your court. What do you have, um, Kelly uh, J. K. Minshall, uh, against trans women? Uh, I don't. I just don't think they're women. So I will counter that point, Mrs. Keen Minshall, by stating that you have led a directly transphobic campaign that has extended over several months. I where you've attempted as much to... of a transphobic campaign as you have a misogynist one. You have attempted. You attack, you have attempted you attack to intimidate, and harass women, women on Twitter all the time. Over a period of months, Mrs. Key Mitchell, and you cannot deny that. You have had uh, a Mr. hand Harrop, in this. Could you you have everyone? highlighted how many you women have highlighted, you have threatened to report to their employers. How many women have you threatened to report to their employers? How many I have are, are, you under, are you under guidance at the moment because you call women uh, disgusting misogynist names on Twitter? Mm, that's not true at all, Mrs. Keen and you well, know you it should isn't. be. Mm. Well, you I threatened, you fact. told a woman on Twitter she didn't delete. Can I ask, speaking of, of, of Twitter, um, Kelly J. Uh, Keen Minshall, uh, about your own Twitter account, which has uh, currently been suspended, both your uh, Posey Parker yep. uh, account and your human female uh, account. Yep. You yourself were questioned by police, uh, West Yorkshire police, after Not accusations yep. uh, that you made uh, towards uh, Susie Green, the mother of, uh, of a 16-year-old, took her child to Thailand. Would you like to elaborate on that uh, accusation? Uh, it was because I said I thought it was wrong to castrate a 16-year-old well, child. I'm asking whether by using the language that you're using, to, that you were using, Castration, you are being deliberately provocative. No, I'm being deliberately truthful in an age where it doesn't seem feasible that people can just speak the truth. Well, the truth is, on. most women are comfortable <laughs> with calling trans women women and giving up our rights to men. Let, let's talk about like truth and freedom of speech. Adrian Harrop, can I talk about um, truth and freedom of speech? Why did you want to see this poster censored? If you didn't agree with it, could you not have put up your own alongside it? I absolutely respect the fact that Mrs. Keen Winchell does have a right to free speech. What Mrs. Keen Winchell does not have a right to do is to make transgender people in Liverpool feel unsafe and unwelcome in their own With community. The definition of woman. Yes, with if your you can't see the absurdity yourself. in what you're saying, then I don't know if anybody can help you. It cannot be such that the definition of woman, the dictionary definition of woman, is offensive. Do you know how offensive that is to women? Do no one is objecting. Mrs. Kirinchel, no one is objecting to the dictionary definition. No one is wanting yes, to alter you are. That's exactly the dictionary what you definition. However, the fact that this term has been appropriated by your overtly transphobic campaign, a dictionary definition. By your overtly transphobic campaign makes transgender people feel unsafe <laughs> and unwelcome in their own A community. dictionary definition on a billboard makes men feel unsafe. It is the symbolism behind the, the poster. The symbolism is black and white, plain English truth. That is the symbolism. The symbolism is that we knew when we put the billboard up that chaps like yourself would think that they could control what we think and what we say. We know this. And that's why we did it. It's, it's absolutely time that women are allowed to talk about ourselves, our spaces, our rights okay. and our legal rights without men like you telling us that we are not allowed to speak. OK, I'm going to have to uh, wrap it up there. Kelly J, Keen Minshall, Dr Adrian Harrop, thank you both very much indeed.